From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. If you're suffering from seasonal allergies at this point, it's likely ragweed and or grasses causing you some issues. I know I've been suffering along with some others. The fall equinox five days away, Halloween 43 days away. You see daylight saving time ends 48 days from now and Veterans Day is 54 days away. Over the weekend, we did drop down to 67 degrees Sunday morning. Saturday morning, we dropped into the upper 50s and low 60s. Did manage to hit 79 degrees in the capital city on Sunday, but there was a lot of rain for at least parts of the area Sunday. Columbia Metropolitan Airport picked up over an inch and a half of rain. Record is going to be safe for day. 104 is the record high set in 1896. The record low is 48 set in 1985. And in 1928, we picked up nearly four inches of rain. But it's going to be quiet and dry. It's going to be sunny for us. Clouds will start to increase, it looks like, towards the end of the work week. And we are tracking the tropics. We do have this dry cold front kind of moving through the area. So we do expect a good bit of sunshine today. And Temperature is running a little bit below normal. Our average high for today is 85. Think we'll be a little bit below that. And temperature is tonight dropping down into the, we'll say, mid to upper 50s possibly. We'll get a lot of sunshine, it looks like, for your Tuesday. But we are still tracking the tropics. Here's our latest hurricane. This Hurricane Nigel does have winds of 100 miles per hour with gusts up to 80 moving towards the northwest at 12 miles per hour. Here's the latest forecast for Nigel. It's expected to rapidly intensify and become another major hurricane out there. Also watching this area, National Hurricane Center gives that a high chance of further development. And right now, a low chance of further development, some type of low developing somewhere off the southeastern coast. So this is going to be an area we'll watch. This will be, this would be early Friday morning. And you'll notice the European model shows some type of low developing, kind of pushing in some moisture. So as of right now, we do have a small chance for rain over the weekend. I will say the American model shows a little bit more moisture kind of moving in on Saturday. So could have a little bit more rain if the American model comes to fruition, or maybe a little bit less if the European model or anything but between those two models could change our forecast looking ahead towards the weekend. But as far as the tropics are concerned, so far we've had 15 named storms, six hurricanes, and three major hurricanes, as we mentioned, do expect Nigel to become a major hurricane. So that would be our next major hurricane. Temperatures today, upper 70s, possibly for some location it's across the Midlands. Otherwise, just look for those temperatures to top off in the low 80s, mid to upper 50s tonight with clear skies. Here's our seven-day forecast. Good bit of sunshine today and tomorrow. Clouds start to build in towards the end of the work week. And as we mentioned, that chance for rain over the weekend, really depending on what happens with that moisture moving in from the Atlantic. Coastal forecast, low 80s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even in a Thursday, upstate forecast looking pretty dry. I don't think we'll have much in the way of rainfall in the upstate, but these cooler than normal conditions won't last long. We do expect warmer than normal temperatures in our eight to 14 day temperature outlook. So that would basically be September 25th through the first day of October.